Hello and welcome to more M20 Draft, or Corset 2020, however you prefer. What do we got? Kalia Zenith Seeker, 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. The top 6 cards of your library, you can reveal an Angel, a Demon, or a Dragon card and put it into your hand. So it's a 3 mana, 3-3 three, three Flying Vigilance. Tutors up Angels and Demons. There are quite a few Angels in this format, so this card could get there. Um, I'm going to see what's in the rest of the pack, but I mean, I gotta try it, right? This doesn't seem that amazing in this format. You know, it's a pretty expensive 3-3 Flying Vigilance, but we'll still try it. Diamond Knight, 3 mana, 1-1 one, one, that gets bigger. Uh, this makes your opponent exile a card, and you can pump it. I like that a lot, actually. And then, wow, there's also a Murder. So Murder might be the best common, although there are so many creatures with 2 toughness that Shock is really good, too. Like, let's let's count them in this pack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, technically 7. <sighs> I feel like Murder is just better than Kalia, but I'm gonna take the rare. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely you should take Murder there, but I wanna try this card out, see how good it is in Limited. Wow, Disfigure's an Uncommon now, that's interesting. So we just passed Murder, so whoever we're passing to is probably going to be in black, but we're gonna be probably in a lot of colors, so. Gauntlets of Light, I don't love, I don't like enchantments that like set you up to just get your creature killed. Howling Giant is big though. Um, 7 mana 5-5 five, five reach is very important. It makes 2 tokens. I'm going to take Disfigure for the same reason Shock is good. This card's really good. I think the next picks for me would probably be Bloodfell Caves, but Disfigure's nice. Basically I'm taking Kalia for a couple reasons. Number one, I just want to see. You know, I'm pretty sure it's not worth it, but I just want to know. And number two, I also want to find out if like playing multicolored cards is like super easy in this format or like you know how difficult it is to play a three mana three different color card so we're gonna find out together mystic forge you can look at the top card you can cast the top card if it's an artifact don't love that um what do we got bark hide trolls at two minute two two that card's okay i kind of just like taking the wand i found this card to be very effective um if you can get other things that combo with it. If you can get two of the wand, it's pretty nice too. Uh, I think maybe Soul Salvage is the next best. But I'm going to take the wand. Okay, Vampire is a 1 mana 1-1 one, one Death Touch. And Lifelink for what it's worth. I like that. Probably more than Bone Splinters. Yeah, we'll take the Vampire here. Alright, so... Wow, that is a very late Scampering Scorcher. Scorcher. It's a 4 mana 1 1 that makes 2 elementals and they all have haste. I like that a lot. I mean, Wing and Words is also pretty nice, but I feel like this is a pretty big symbol signal that elementals is open, or at least like red is open. Also, Dragon Mage maybe is not the most playable, but this card seems great. And then the next best card would be like Winged Words, but I'm going to take this and see what's going on there. I don't think there are elementals in black, so that's something to consider. Scorcher of the Fang, I don't love, you can take probably Salvage of Rune, sure. This basically lets you like rebuy stuff that died. It's pretty good with like Vampire of the Dire Moon. It's kind of sweet with the wand if you like sacrifice the wand. You know what, we could try and wand combo, right? Get a way to kill this a couple times and Lava Axe our opponent to the face. Okay, we got Diamond Knight is just going to go in basically any deck. It's a 3 mana 1-1 one, one Vigilance. And if you're monocolored, this gets a lot better. Um, we could take Blood Burglar if we think we're going to like just want to be black and force it. But it's just a 2 mana 2-2, two -two, so like the upside is not that high. I'm going to speculate on Diamond Knight and see what happens. So now we have Destructive Digger, some green cards. I mean, Sedge Scorpion's pretty nice, but right now we have two good black cards, two good red cards. I don't really want to take Fathom Fleet Cutthroat. Um, it is technically a combo with the wand, but that's seven mana. Seven mana is a lot. I'll just try the digger. That's also a combo with the wand. And this card's just pretty good late game value anyway. So this was the pack that we opened. Kelden Raider is a good card. I will play a Kelden Raider. That makes me feel like red is pretty open. Green also seems open. And that's kind of a late Thornwood Falls. But I'm just going to take the good red card and... Oh, Bloodfell Caves, huh? Nobody wants the fixing. I could also take Pack Mastiff. But I think I need this because we have good black and red cards. Um, I kind of like Inferior Rate over Fathom Fleet Cutthroat. 1 mana plus 3 plus 2 is like really good rate. Alright, well I think we kind of found the open lane. Is like this weird black red aggro deck. 
I feel like murder would probably be better than this Kalia at this point, but we'll see. Scorch Spitter. When it attacks, it deals one damage to the player. You got it. Who knows? Maybe uh, one drop aggro is viable. Last picked Active Treason is kind of nice. So this can sacrifice artifacts like Diamond Knight, Salvager. Okay. Okay, we got Leyline of Abundance. This card is not great in limited, so probably not taking that. I kind of like Grave Digger. Grave Digger is going to be good no matter what we end up doing. Uh, this is not a goblin. We only have one goblin. I like Ringleader in general, but I feel like this card is just pretty much exactly what we want in this deck. So I'm going to take that. Hope to wheel something like Windscarred Crag or maybe a Vile. Ooh, Disfigure, Meteor Golem, Gorging Vulture. Flame Speed deals two damage to each creature. That basically kills all of our stuff. <laughs> so I'm not in love with taking Flame Sweep. I feel like Disfigure is better for this deck because we're pretty low to the ground. Um, I feel like Meteor Golem is a better card in general. And we could, let's see, we could try and go bigger. Let's say we like cut these. Then we just have like Disfigure, Vampire, Scorch Spitter. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Now, I feel like taking seven drops is not, this, this one drop is actually really good. It kills so many creatures in the format. We're just gonna take another Disfigure. Load up on those in shocks and just try and be aggressive. Well, that is another Grave Digger. Kind of regret not taking the uh, Meteor Golem now, but I'll take two. That's not bad. Uh, this card also seems really strong, and the rest of this pack is not great. Except for, like, not great for us. This card's pretty good. I think this card's great, but Double Grave Digger I will not complain about. Okay, we got Vengeful War Chief. Whenever you lose life for the first time each turn, put a counter on it. And it's a 5 mana 4-4, four, four, so let's see, if we get attacked, then it's going to grow... Uh, this only does damage to the opponent. I don't know if that card's great. It's pretty good in like racing situations and stuff, but I almost just want to take this two drop because we need two drops and we don't really need five drops. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Also, pack mastiffs do well in doubles. Ooh, Ember Hauler. And an Agonizing Siphon. Both of these cards are amazing for us. I kind of think it's it's gotta be Ember Hauler. Because 4 mana is a lot, we already have some good 4 drops, and this card is basically repeatable removal or a clock, so it's more versatile. Yeah, I'll take the hauler, but definitely wouldn't fault anyone for taking the other card. Um, plus 1 plus 1 and gains double strike. Not super into that. I think I'll just take the pack mastiff, kind of go off. If you get a lot of these, you can really hit hard. You know, disfigure a couple creatures, pump all your doggos. Yeah, I don't know about this Kalia. Probably was a bad pick, but I wanted to see. Okay, we could start taking Battalion Foot Soldiers. Um, I am between Sorcerer of the Fang and Soul Salvage. Soul Salvage is kind of sweet with Double Grave Digger. We could just have like infinite value that way. And a 2 mana 1 3 that takes 6 mana to activate, I don't love. So I'll just take the first Soul Salvage. Okay, wow. Well, we're definitely in the right, uh, the right lane. We can take. Blade Brand goes really well with not much, but this is a really good trick, and I value it really highly. Um, I don't really have any sack outlets for Sanitarium Skeleton. Ah, that card's okay. Yeah, I kind of want all of these, but I feel like I want Blade Brand the most, just because we seem to have a lot of like one drops, and Death Touch is important. Like we have Disfigure to kill the small creatures, and then Blade Brand to kill the big creatures. That seems okay to me. And then. We could take Vile. I could take Windscarred Crag and try and like splash Kalia, but I don't really see us playing dragons, angels, or demons in our deck. So that's probably not worth it. And Vile's pretty slow though. And I already have better two drops. I guess I take this on a speculation, but now I can take Act of Treason. We already have one though, so I don't really need to. Um, Barony Vampire. I'll just take a Prismite. I don't really love it, but. Tectonic Rift. Honestly, a card I might play. Also, Maniacal Rage is pretty good. Another Scorch Spitter. Is this card playable? It's a 1-mana one 1-1 one -one that hits for 2 if they don't have any blockers. And it's good with Blade Brand because if they block it, they die. I'm going to say maybe. Alright, Leyline of Combustion. What do you do? Whenever you become the target, deals 2 damage. So this, like, counters Storm, right? They, like, tendrils you, and every time it tendrils, they take damage. I kind of just want to take Shock. Shock is great. And we're probably going to wheel the Pack Mastiff, so we could just go off that way. Ooh, Mask. 
I feel like the mask in this deck is awesome. Hanged Executioner is really good though. At the base rate, it's a three pot three mana for two one one flyers. And then you can spend four to exile anything. <sighs> I don't think it's worth messing up our mana though. Like the way this deck wins is just by out tempoing your opponent. And I think in order to do that. Well, this card's good too. It's a two mana three one that attacks through white. And white's pretty important to attack through because they get all the tokens, but Mask of Immolation plus Blade Brand is a combo. It's also a combo with Vampire, so I'm going to take this. I've just been very impressed with this card. It also combos really nicely with the wand. That's another shock. I'll just keep picking up shocks. Reduced to Ashes might wheel, but I'll just hope we don't play against any big boys. <laughs> I think with double shock, double disfigure, that I will play Scorch Spitters. Because if you play this turn one, clear the way a bunch, it does attack really nicely. What is this card? Blood for Bones. As the additional cast, sacrifice this creature. So you reanimate a creature and then get a creature in hand. That seems powerful, but we don't really have good creatures to reanimate, right? Like, I guess you could get back like a Grave Digger. I could just take Goblin Smuggler and give our deck like some really nice inevitability. It's a good combo with Scorch Spitter and like Pack Mastiff. I'm just gonna take the Smuggler. I feel like our deck literally wants it more, which is weird because it's a worse card, but ooh, Inferiorate number two. Kind of on board. Agonizing Siphon's looking worse and worse. It's just getting pretty expensive and this card might come around, but Cheap Tricks means our deck is just gonna be a nightmare for the opponent. We could take another Goblin Smuggler. Again, don't really want to spend 5 mana. What is this? 6 mana? No. We might wheel the skeleton, but even if we don't, this deck looks nice. Uh, Probably not playing that. I don't love the Diamond Knight. Probably not this. I think I like the Wand. But again, we don't even have to play the Wand. Another Inferiate. Okay. We have 14 creatures to pump up. I'm kind of down for that. We can do a lot of damage now. Look how many 1-drops we have. Hmm. Do I want three Inferiates? No, four. Four is probably too many. I'm just going to take Reduced to Ashes. Could be good top end. Ooh, another Kelden Raider. Let's see. Manifold Key. Three mana to give unblockable. I don't love that. I think I'd rather just have another Kelden Raider. Wow, we got both of them? Ah! Uh, I think I want Unchained Berserker just because of how hard it hits. And Pro White could have like a bunch of offset against some people. I would love another Goblin Smuggler, but this card is just like, we need more two drops to make our curve better. Probably not even gonna play this. Let's see, 29, we can cut that. Do I like this? This helps with the go wide strategy. It's also really good to get back off Grave Digger. So I kind of like that. I feel like one act of treason is probably fine. Uh, I don't really have any creatures. No, I have Mask. Okay, so we can like act of treason a creature and sacrifice it. The wand might be too much. Sure, I'll take one of these. Not going to play it. Yeah, the wand might be a little expensive. I don't know. Oh, that's, that's a card. That's a pretty good card, actually. You know what? That might be better than Inferiate. Add this to the sideboard. Come on, last pick. Pack Mastiff. Nah. Okay. I mean, this deck looks awesome. I don't quite know how to build it. I think one of these is good. And maybe two Inferiates, but not three, because three is kind of a lot <laughs> I, th I feel like the wand might be too slow actually and then barony vampire is kind of our worst creature and then 16 lands with this could get there we could actually cut this but it's really good with the mask and grave digger so i think i keep it in 24 16 land yeah i think 16 with this is totally fine and like it, we're basically mono red with just a very light black splash so five black sources for two disfigure i feel like we can go up to six black because we do have the blood fell caves and i would like to be able to play this on turn one if possible so that's the deck do i like maniacal rage i mean we're going to be attacking so here's basically what i can do i can cut this for another inferior rate but this lets us get through like if they play a big attacker we can just like play this on their guy and get through for damage so I think I'm going to leave this in the sideboard. Plus, we can just put it on our guy and beat down. Do we really need to do that? Oh, I could cut Destructive Digger now because we're not playing 
the wand. No, I think I'm gonna run it like this. This seems pretty good to me. See you guys run one. All right, we're here against Mathilde7. This hand looks great. I think we're on the play, but I don't know. No, we're on the draw. We got one drop into two drop blade brand to, you know, keep it going. Wow. Yeah, this is kind of everything we want our deck to do. We just gotta not draw too many more lands. Ember Cat. Ember Cat, you going down, son. So we're gonna disfigure that. Yeah. And then hit for two. Playing a little bit off curve, which I think is fine. That's another cat. Okay. Swamp. So we can Blade Brand down the Ember Cat. I feel like that's not the most necessary thing. I can just kind of wait, play the Pack Mastiff, and then next turn we can go like Mask plus Blade Brand to kill anything. That seems better. I'm okay waiting. Play Mountain. Also, we have like th two Shocks and two Disfigures to take down the Fire or the Ember Cat. Opponent's doing nothing. This looks suspicious. I like Scampering Scorcher. I kind of like that a lot. I could play that and swing out. We lose our Scorch Spitter. I could play Mask of Immolation, Blade Brain the Ember Cat, and hit them right now. I think I'm going to lead off on Mask. See if Mask resolves. And then go from there. Okay, this gets down. Kind of like just killing the Ember Cat. Let's give this Death Touch. Sacrifice this to kill the Ember Cat. Then if they play anything big next turn, I can just act of trees in it, and then we're totally fine. Mmm. Okay, so we lose our wolf dog. Two damage to the Scorch Spitter. Then we get to kill Chandra. Pretty good. Attack with all that Chandra. And they're stuck at four mana. Perfect. That's a Grave Digger. Let's attack. Um, so <laughs> I guess I probably just run out Gravedigger. I want to get value off of this, but playing Gravedigger plays on curves so well. Convolute, sure. I guess I would have been better off with my original plan. Well, if that's on blocking duty, they're gonna have a bad time. Let's go with shock. This really makes our mana kind of awkward, but I guess we got to do it. Let's shock this. Equip the mask here. Oh, I could just play Maniacal Rage. Nah, saving that to get rid of blocker seems better, maybe. Because they could also have shock. And then this way, if we top deck Gravedigger, we can get him. Any blocker, we can actual treason. This seems good to me. Mountain. So we can discard that to Kelden Raider. Let's attack for three again. Befuddle. I could deny them a card draw. They're down to two cards in hand. Nah. Play Kelden Raider. Discard a card. That's a good draw. <laughs> They're already dead on board. You got it. Swamp. Um, I don't want them to know about Active Treason, so we're just going to rage this. Swing out. They die. Okay. Uh, so they're like blue-red Dirtles. I don't really feel the need to change anything here. So, yeah. Hmm. Five land with a good curve. I think I'll keep. It's a little sketchy, but it's got all our mana. It's got a good curve, good top end. And Pack Mastiff does go well with a bunch of mana. I wonder how many Chandras our opponent has. Please not Chandra. Nope, it's Chandra. Oh, that I can deal with. That I can deal with. So I can swing with Pack Mastiff and go for a Blade Brain if they block. But I feel like I'm the aggressor here. So, uh, no, this actually works pretty well because then I have a target for Gravedigger next turn. So we're going to attack. Okay. The uh, post combat Goblin Smuggler. Really suspicious here. <laughs> go. That's a lot of damage. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Suppose I have to block now. I like this figure. I like this figure a lot. So I believe I just go mountain, attack for two, and then disfigure this, and then we only get hit for three. Yeah, that seems all right. The Merfolk Pirate. I'm also kind of okay with this trade if they do want to block. 
So, yeah, I think we just got to kill this flyer. But now we're kind of in trouble. Taking three. It's not the end of the world. I've seen worse things. Yep, yep. Opponent's Hellbent. And we got the Mask plus Blade Brand combos. I feel like that makes our mana just a lot smoother. So they have no cards in hand? Yeah, so we can like block the Destructive Digger and then Blade Brand sack to kill the Lava King Brawler. Okay, they just want to attack for one. That's cool with me. That was a weird decision. That was a very weird decision. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. And just like that, we're right back in it. Scorch Spitter! That's a good Mask of Immolation friend. So we're going to go ahead and go Grave Digger. Getting back. Pack Mastiff is actually getting pretty good right now. So I'm just going to get that back. And play it. Last turn. So now Grave Digger can trade with Destructive Digger if they want to attack. They can sacrifice lands to draw cards. 6-5 Menace. Okay. Mm, I think I just attack with Pack Mastiff. They can't really block it. Then I can place Scorch Spitter and equip the Mask. And I kind of want to just Blade Brand down the Ripscale Predator right now. So let's do that as well. You gain Death Touch. Sacrifice this. Kill that. Wow. <laughs> this deck is awesome. I'm loving every second of this. Opponent's drawing lands and sacking them, but that takes like a lot of mana and time. It's a good draw. Create two elementals, they gain haste, sacrifice them at the beginning of the next end step. So Lavakin Brawler attacks for like a million damage. Block here and take six. All right, we're down to five, they have one card in hand and we have a Disfigure. Okay, I don't dislike this. So these two can attack and kill Chandra. Let's go ahead and play Scampering Scorcher. Disfigure their card draw. Attack down Chandra, Chandra. And I kind of want this to die, so I'm gonna attack them and them and then keep back a chump blocker. Yeah, right? Chandra's doing down. Four and four, yeah. I just don't think it's worth taking three. There's kind of like shock would kill us if we take three damage. It doesn't have trample, so. Definitely feels like they have a shock or something in hand. Okay. Outing's actually pretty good. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we equip the mask over here. Yeah, we do that. And then we, we could Maniacal Rage one of our creatures, but I almost want to save it to like get through one of theirs. So right now we're hitting for one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's a two turn clock already. I'm not going to mess with it. Pump, pump, okay, that is no longer a two turn clock. <laughs> Befuddle's a good magic card, that is for sure. Take, well, block, ping them for one. Moat Piranhas, you got a 3-3 defender. You know what's pretty good against defenders? <laughs> Maniacal Rage. <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. Play that, play the land, and swing for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could put them to two. No blocks. Pump. Pump. Yeah, we're just gonna pump again. So now I don't even know if they can attack with the Lavakin Brawler. Yeah. Yeah, we win the match. See you guys around next round. I don't know what round this is. See you guys next round. Oh man, what's up with this hand? So we got two swamps, all red cards. I feel like we can do better. Especially with the London Mulligan, it's like, yeah, much more forgiving to Mulligan. So here we can probably just get rid of a mountain. Most of our hand costs two. And we're going to draw lands eventually anyway, especially being on the draw. Okay, so let's keep and put Mountain back. Done. God, this mulligan's so good for limited. 
Really, really good change. And our opponent mulliganed as well. Okay, that's good to know. And they're white, which makes Unchained Berserker pretty good. I swear we put that on the bottom. Um, so what we could actually do, if our opponent shows, like, only white cards, we could just go turn two Unchained Berserker, turn three Maniacal Rage on the Berserker, and hit them for five a turn. And then they're just dead in four turns. <laughs> it depends. If they show, like... Uh-oh. Okay. People who play land second main phase really freak me out. Uh, really glad I put the land on the bottom. I don't really want to draw anymore. Go ahead. Okay, so I don't know if I'm just going to run out the Maniacal Rage. Because there's some, like, blue removal spells that, like, keep a creature tapped and stuff. Don't really want to get two for one by that. Also the Warden. Uh, maybe it's worth it. If they're blue flyers? Inferior. So I can attack and see if they trade. Or I can just go for a Maniacal Rage. The problem is that's pretty all in because, like, if they kill this, we have basically no other creatures. So I'm just going to attack. If they block, we can pump this, and then it survives. For one mana, that's pretty good. Yeah, so we're going to do that. And this gives us some information. It means they don't really have a way to deal with this card. So, like, if they have some type of removal spell, I feel like they're going to use it next turn anyway. Because most of the, bl the blue removal spell I'm thinking of costs four mana and taps him down. I don't know the name. Yep. Well, that's pretty good for us. There's also Unsummon in this format. Uh, I think I'm going to wait for one more mana, and then I can go Active Treason plus Sacrifice the Mask. Currently, I'm just going to attack with the Berserker. Protection from White means we can get through. We can play the Digger, and then, yeah, Active Treason plus Mask is so good. Play that. Play that. Go. Yep. So we'll just take three, and hope to hit a land. Or a Grave Digger. Grave Digger is pretty good. Um... So, what do I do? I can swing with both. I don't really want this triggering before... Well, actually that triggering giving them a 2-4 lifelink is not the worst thing. And I don't really need Destructive Digger, so we'll attack like this, I think. Um, I really want to get use out of this Grave Digger, so if they trade, just being able to use all of our mana this turn I think is pretty profitable. And we can always Active Trees in something else that they hit. That could be better. Get that back. Go ahead. We'll take two. This is kind of an interesting attack. Passivism. Man. <laughs> Unchained Berserker is doing work over here. Swamp. Okay. So do I want to steal their 2-4? It is pretty good against us. They're down to two cards. I guess I could just keep back Unchained Berserker. And then they can't really do anything. So let's attack with the Elemental. See what they have. Then play Destructive Digger, pass turn. Okay, it's a pack Mastiff. All right, I think we do go for it. One, two, three, negate. Fair enough. So they have a two, four lifelink. Send me a message, would they say? <laughs> uh, why does it take so long to show up? <laughs> Must be a fan. All right, Benny. <laughs> Good moves. Okay, so this is an interesting game because I don't really want to attack and I don't really want to waste the Maniacal Rage on here, but if they had a way to deal with this, I feel like they already would. So let's just get in there and smash. And I'm fine trading five for two. Also, if they attack with the Daybreak Chaplain, then I can get in with all of these, so that goes pretty poorly for them as well. Ah. Okay. I've played against this card so many times. Ooh, Disfigure is going to be dirty, I think. So we attack with Unchained Berserker, and I think that's it. It's a 5-3. Yeah, and then this gets small enough where it can't... Oh, they just take it. Okay. Down to 6, we're going to play Pack Mastiff. And move this over here. Pass turn. I don't really know how they get out of this. I mean, that's a lot of dudes. Plus, we can just, like, ping them down. No attacks? Okay. Um, I think I do sacrifice this and just go face. It's not really doing any work for us right now, anyway. Ember Hauler. Okay, so we can just go face at this point. Um, I feel like attacking is probably a good idea. And with you... So this forces them to trade. And then... 
They don't even get a chance to block with the Daybreak Chaplain? Okay. So I can put this down to two. Yeah, and then we can kill it. Um, so I can either use Ember Holer or Double Mask. I think Ember Holer is better. Uh, actually, Ember Holer runs into Convolute, right? I can Mask Activation, Sacrifice Elemental, and Pack Mask Stiff. I really don't want to get hit by Convolute. Nah, I'm going to go for it. Okay, and then we kill that. And then they draw two. Discard one. And hopefully we can come back from this. I don't want this attack. We'll take two. Oh, they have Planar Cleansing? Frost Links. Tapping down the Berserker. Alright, deck, give me a shock. Mountain. Okay, let's play Mountain. Um, so I can swing, swing with these two. And then they block the Destructive Digger. The problem is they have so many cards in hand. But I think I'm okay with that. Because pac Stiff can get in for a bunch of damage if they don't do anything. Befuddle. Okay, Raise the Alarm is a good card. Yep, no pumps, nothing. They're down to one card in hand. Equip the mask here. And this race still favors me, but the top decks favor my opponent. We take two, then go up. We could have blocked and sacrificed and had lethal next turn, but that's assuming they have no plays, and that seems pretty bad. Oh, that's pretty good. Hit for a million damage. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have gone for lethal. Good game's Benny. So they're blue white. I don't really have any way to deal with flyers. Um Kelden Raider, Tectonic Rift, destroying lands. <laughs> I think my best bet is just to run it back. Yeah, this hand's sketchy, but I'll keep. This is a prime example of how Bloodfell Caves is good. Pony kept seven as well. Play the tap land, go up a life. Yeah, it's a little slow. But I don't hate it. I would love to hit a two drop though. Moat piranhas? What? What do you think you're doing over here? What do you think we're doing over here? That's a lot of land. That's alright. Goblin Smuggler should help us get through. Do you think they sided out their white? Scorch Spitter. So we can play that next turn. Right now I'm going to use all my mana and play Goblin Smuggler. We could get convoluted, but that's okay. Obviously no attacks. Frostlink's tapping down the Smuggler. Not cool, dude. Destructive Digger. So... I can play two 3-drops, and I feel like playing uh, the Digger is probably better, because Goblin Smoker has haste, so we can play that next turn anyway. And this guy can at least trade for Moat Piranhas. Go. Everyone bring it in the sideboard Moat Piranhas. <laughs> so I'll take two. I don't really mind that. Steadfast Sentry, you got it. Um... So if we trade with Steadfast Sentry, it becomes a... The Frost Links becomes bigger. I don't really mind that. So I can swing with... Let's see, this is a 3-3. So if I have 4 Toughness, it won't die. So I can swing with all of these. That seems okay to me. So play Goblin Smuggler. And if they double block, we can still kill both of them. Which is also good for us. Attack, attack, attack. Right, so... This gives plus 3, plus 2, so they have 4 Toughness, yeah. This works. So these trade, we keep our Goblin Smuggler alive. I would love to have Destructive Digger around, but it is what it is. I think having two creatures that can give stuff unblockable is pretty good. Don't like that they're still attacking, though. That'll do it. That's pretty good. <laughs> um. Go with Scampering Scorcher. Oh, this is an elemental. I didn't even notice that. Um, so I can keep that back to block. Yeah, I don't really feel like giving them free stuff. I'm just gonna keep it back and start getting in with the Scorch Spitter. Get the land down. The lands will be helpful if we draw the um sacrifice artifact. I don't the mask that lets us like sacrifice all these to kill all their creatures. So if they play a blocker, I'll be kind of sad. But I feel like I could triple block this Frost Links and only take three. Let's see, taking five right now is not best. And right now I can swing for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll take it. I don't think, I think I'm more aggressive than them. So yeah, basically letting the game go faster favors me. Because they could have a, like a Befuddle or something. Ooh, Grave Digger. 
All right, now I want that to die. So let's move to combat. Swing out with everything. No, I'll keep this back. I kind of want to have a blocker. Sure. So they kill the spitter and an elemental. They take a bunch. Um, honestly, I feel like I just got to run out the grave digger. As much as I would love to like buy back a scampering scorcher, I think uh, the mana efficiency of this play is way better. Play that, play that. Now the opponent can't really attack. And this can draw us a bunch of cards because we have so many lands to sacrifice, but probably it's just going to be attacking. <laughs> you break Champlain. Yeah, all that works. Ember Hauler is busted. Um, What do these attacks look like? I can give Grave Digger and Scampering Scorcher unblockable. Hit for three. Give you unblockable. Do I want to attack with Destructive Digger or do I want to keep it back? Because I can play Ember Hauler and kill the Frost Links and then they have to just chump. I don't think there's any combat tricks in double blue. You know what? Let's just kill the Frost Links. Yeah, this works well, I think. Because giving our stuff unblockable is nice and forcing a trade here is also good. They're down to seven life and we have a bunch of unblockable stuff. They go up to eight. Take one. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Penny. <laughs> We've been drawing pretty well this game. Um, I'll just run into whatever you have. Yep, we'll raise the alarms. Yeah, you're at two. We got active treason. I just want you to tap out for the big flyer. Please tap out for the big flyer, Benny. <laughs> hey, we beat Benny. We didn't even have to show him the active treason. <laughs> well... We're uh, undefeated going to the finals. See you guys there. All right, we're playing against Max GS in the finals and this hand of Mulligan. We're on the draw as well. But we just need a couple more lands like this. This is pretty good. I'm going to keep... Um, I feel like I'm just going to get rid of Maniacal Rage. That card is like the highest variance to it. We don't know when we're going to want it. And just something like Inferior it kind of works better in that role, I think. Okay. Don't love seeing Swamp off the top. Don't love seeing Ember Hauler off the top either. Okay, there's the mountain. This might be the straight up mirror match. Well, I can run out Goblin Smuggler. If they want to Ember Hauler kill it, kill it, they can. And then we have something to get back with Grave Digger on turn four. That's a lot of lands, my dudes. Okay, let's play this. And I feel like I at block, keep it back to block. I don't know, that could be sketchy, but I want, th I want this to die so that we can Grave Digger it. So I'm just gonna, Keep it back to block. Hmm. Okay. Pretty good. I have regrets. I have a lot of regrets. Okay, let's... I feel like I just attack and trade now. And then I can Grave Digger back to the Smuggler. Yeah, this just lets us play on curve pretty nicely. And then we can be more free with our mana. It's unfortunate that we basically traded our 2-2 for 1-1. But I, we basically needed this in play. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, their deck is like ours, but way better. The pro white guy should be nice if we ever see it. Kelvin Raider is also kind of good. So let's play a mountain and attack with Grave Digger. Yep, take it. I think at this point we're just in an all out race. So play Kelvin Raider. Definitely discarding a swamp. Okay, double inferior eight can actually, we can just like steal a win. And they can spend four mana at instant speed to exile a creature. We're down to eight, so one, two, three, four, five. So right now we're not dead next turn unless they have an inferior eight. And we can hit them for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we cannot kill them. Plus, they could just stop that nonsense by using the hanged executioner. Oof. All right. Now we are dead. One, two, three, four, five. We fall to six, so we're not dead next turn, and this keeps it alive because it goes to five toughness. Interesting that they moved the blade before doing that. Um, Destructive Digger is kind of good. So let's go ahead and play. Uh, this is four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's play Goblin Smuggler. They can sacrifice Ember Hauler to kill our Grave Digger if they want. 
But we're hitting for 8 damage right now. I could hit for 11 and put them down to 7, but I think just putting more creatures in play is better. Oh, no, we're just dead on board anyway, because this can go face. Yeah, 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 I forgot about that. Yep, good plays, opponent. Yeah, okay. So, sideboarding. This is going to be a tough matchup. Opponent's deck is pretty nice. I don't really have any way to stop this, so let's just run it back. All right, let's have a better game. We're going to go first, and yeah, we got to keep this. Unchained Berserker is pretty good. Also a combo with Goblin Smuggler. And a single red source means our hand is just great. But even if we don't hit it, like this can just be like a late game shock. And we can just kind of go off the keep seven. And hope they don't, ooh. Let's hope they don't shock the Berserker here. Nice. And that's a white guard, right? One, one white soldier, perfect. Mountain. So we can Ember Holder down the soldier, but I kind of like just playing Goblin Smuggler but not attacking. Because I don't really want to trade that for a 1 1. Yep, that's a good one. Ooh. Ooh, Gravedigger. Nice. So we can go Mountain. Campering Scorcher is haste. Plus, it's the best use of our mana. So we start there. And we could just swing out. Um, I don't still don't really want to trade the smuggler for the soldier, so I think I'm just going to give an elemental unblockable and then swing with those. Down to 13. Um, this can exile the smuggler maybe, but that takes a lot of mana. Oh goodness, okay. That's a lot of damage. I think I do chump block here. I want this dead. And then I can kind of just keep back elementals as blockers. Right, we give one of these unblockable for four. Play Gravedigger. Get that back. Play Mountain. Go. And that's a lot of damage coming their way. I think I do tri double block the Gravedigger. Four life. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't try and race. Um, so we can go Ember Hauler, shoot down the Dawning Angel. Play this Vampire, and then hold up Scampering Scorcher for next turn. Down to 7 life. <laughs> Go ahead. Ooh, that's good. That kills the Untamed Berserker. So they can block and sacrifice, or they could just equip the Blade to it. We're only taking 4 at the moment, though. Alright, I'm okay taking 4. Fencing Ace. Ooh, they have a 2-2 double strike now. Okay, so they're going to Ember Hauler this turn, I believe. So if I attack, what do their blocks look like? They block here. They really should have, well, I don't know, because they saw I have ways to pump this. But anyway, they block here, sacrifice it to kill the Berserker. The double striker blocks the Vampire, and then they take one, two, three, four, and they fall to three life. And then on the backswing, they can hit me for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I feel like I need to keep back a blocker. This is actually a very challenging turn. I can just give the vampire unblockable and then swing with just these two. And then they take no damage. All right. How much damage do I get through if I just play this and swing out again? So this block's here, this block's here, this dies. They take 4. And they lose that, but then they can basically kill us next turn. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's not so great. So I think our best bet is to play it a little safe, give this unblockable. And then swing it just these two. Okay, that's good. Then we play Destructive Digger. <clears throat> Opponent's at six, and then we can set up for Scampering Scorcher next turn. And I think that one extra life is going to matter a lot. Yep, as we expected. So this looks like they have Chandra's Outrage in hand. That's what I would guess by the way they tapped and attacked. So can we beat a Chandra's Outrage? So right now we're taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so Chandra's Outrage puts us to 1. And they're going to kill this. And then the Soldier blocks here, so they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 damage. Oh no. 
All right, so I think we do have to chump block the fencing ace with an elemental. I don't know. Passivism on that. That's not as bad. Scorch spinner. Three, four. Scampering scorcher, which they knew about. Two, three, four, right? So right now they block here and they take one, two, three, four, five. So they don't die. And I would like to have creatures back to block the fencing ace. So we're going to keep back in elemental. Uh, that card's really good right now. Well, they take three and go to three. And we play this. And they go to four. Angelic gift. No! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh, okay. Well, not really beating that. Opponent's deck was great. Those were good matches, though. Um, we all had, like, pretty solid draws. I just died early. Ah, that was so close. Well, those games weren't very close, but <laughs> our deck was good. That's all I'm saying. So let's go back to the deck. Uh, things I noted. First picking Kalia definitely was a mistake. Definitely should take Murder. Um, I just wanted to see, you know, is a three color rare worth it? Is there support? It is a mythic, which is kind of fun. Um, also, I learned basically that Shock is still very good in this format. And uh, I was impressed with Goblin Smugglers. Giving something unblockable is just like a great way to sneak through the last few points of damage. So I like that. And then Gravedigger obviously is just busted. So thanks for watching and uh, catch you guys next time.